that Zoho Projects is used to work on project or it's project management software. But did you know that you can integrate it with your CRM so that you can see the projects and the tasks directly from the CRM using Zoho One? So it'll all make sense in just a second. But that is what we're gonna learn, how to do or set up the integration and then um, before we do that though, I want you guys to subscribe, click the bell, subscribe, make sure that you catch these videos because they are extremely helpful if you're a Zoho user. So let's get to it. The first thing we wanna do is learn how to turn on the integration. Um, but before I do that, I am using Zoho One. This is my preference. It is because I have access to 40 plus applications, maybe 50 plus applications that Zoho offers in one subscription. So it's literally a few bucks a month. It's very doable, even for a very small business. But I am using Zoho One. In Zoho One, I have um, the CRM and I have projects. So there's more than one way to get to these applications. You can go there directly from the Zoho One dashboard, which is here in menu, or you can type in, for example, projects.zoho.com or crm.zoho.com. If you don't already know this, I'm just gonna throw this in. Whenever you wanna access any application that Zoho has, just type in that application.zoho.com and it'll take you straight there. Um, so just so you'll know, in projects, we have a few projects here. And in the CRM, we're going to, in just a second, we're gonna associate one of those projects that you just saw in projects with this account, all right? So first, we're going to set up the uh, integration. And the way that we want to do that is we want to go to the CRM. In the CRM, you're going to go to settings. And then we are going to go to this section here under marketplace that says Zoho. You have this option. You have some other options and in integrations that you can do. But we are setting up Zoho projects. We're going to click on setup now. And get started. The portal, there's only one, and it's basically telling you that these project fields in Zoho Projects are going to sync with the accounts and deals fields in the CRM. All right, uh, if you click on that button to map it, it lets you know, okay, the name of the project in Zoho Projects is going to be equivalent to the deal name. We want the start date. Uh, we don't want it map that to the closing date, which is all we have right now in the CRM. So we're going to skip that one. But the end date will be the closing date. And then the description in Zoho Projects will match the description in CRM for the deals module. Now for the accounts module, we don't want the name of the project to um, match the account name because the account name is the company in this instance. Um, if you are servicing customers, it may be the household or the address or the person's name, but that's not what we want here. So the only thing we're going to do is set this up for the deals. We don't necessarily want to um, push this information over to the account. I'm going to click done. And we are going to set it up for certain profiles. Uh, we only have two. I want to make both of them available so that if a person is in the CRM and they have the standard permission, they will be able to see the projects that are associated with their deals and accounts. All right, and we save. Now in the deals module, you'll notice now we have Zoho projects um, on the left side or in the menu. It wasn't there before we did the integration, but now that it's there, we can go there and we can add a new project. So what we'll do is we'll call it, the title comes in as John, uh, Jack Jackson. We're just gonna say project. We're gonna just leave everything else as it is and click next. Oh, it wants a start date. Let's do that. Project schedule. 
All right, next. And this is basically asking who the users are that need to work on this project. And for now, we're just gonna have the one project user. And now we have a project. So if we scroll down here, we see now the Jack Jackson project. So if, if you have more than one project for an account, for example, um, you would be able to see those from the, um, here, if I go to the account, which is Jack Jackson's account, which is Grady Shades and Awnings, I go to Zoho Projects and I see that same project. So you can have multiple projects under an account, um, as many as there need to be. You can see here that you can uh, see what the status is, how many tasks have been completed, and so on. So now you know how to add a project from the CRM for an account or a deal, but let me show you how to associate one that's already existing. So if I go to a deal, XYZ Party Supplies, and I want to associate a project that's already existing in projects, which is this one, XYZ Party Supplies Project. I'm going to go to the project section and click on Associate Project. It is going to give me a list. Click on it and associate. And that's it. So now you can see that project here from that deal. All right, guys, so yeah, that is extremely helpful. You can click, you can see here how much completion there is, how many tasks have been completed. If you click on any of those, it will take you into that project. So you can see these are task lists and then the tasks that are associated when you click on task. If you click on the project name, it will open the entire project. So you can start here at the dashboard. You can click on any of these other menu options. So you can click here to see those same tasks that we just looked at, reports, and so on. So yeah, that is what you do um, in order to make everything accessible from the CRM so that, you know, everything feels like one cohesive system instead of you having to go to all of the different applications you can just click on them right inside of Zoho One if you wish. If you have any questions just drop them in the comments don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and also just remember we have a book an ebook that you can download for free, a simple guide to customizing a simple system using Zoho, and it's great. It will help you get started, and if you already have Zoho, it's still very, very helpful. So be sure to download that book. The link is down in the comments. And then also, you can take our other free courses at learn.successfulsolutions.com, and then we may have an upcoming uh, Zoho CRM customization course or class so be sure to follow us on social media as well especially our youtube channel all right guys until next time